What's up? This is Dallas with Nile. You're listening to The Inevitable Degradation of Flesh. Classic Dallas song, um, really in your face, you know, like very tough for every drummer to play and actually keep up with it. Um, there's a lot of double basing and uh, blast beats, uh, no breaks, lots of feels. Like I said, you know, this is a classic Dallas, you know, he really tries to kill me. Thanks, Dallas. But um, this one, I, I would say it's um, definitely one of my favorite ones Dallas ever wrote. Um, He's one of the best writers anyways. Um, whatever he brings to the table, is, it's a hit, you know? Like the same with Carl, of course. But um, I think the gradation and all these fights in the beginning, you know, um, I'm really looking forward to play this song live. Oh boy, I had a lot of fun working on this tune. Um, <laughs> there were some odd time signatures in the front that uh, was giving me a little grief at first, but got it locked in. Um, I think one of my favorite parts of this song is the um, the little tapping bit with the little simple crunchy rhythm behind it. Um, that's a very uh, end of the worldish uh, kind of section and uh, later on in the song there's like a, a slower breakdown section that I think came out pretty well. Um, ultimately uh, you know, uh, we've had a lot of fun putting the, all of this material together for this record. Um, and uh, it's always a good learning experience to uh, go back into the studio. You're always learning something new, uh, new ways to get things tighter. And I don't know, I think that it just shows that we were very prepared this time and we did our homework and we worked and got, got the stuff tight as we could get it. And, you know, here you go. Here's the result. Well, you're listening to the supreme humanism of megalomania. Supreme is a big hit to me, and um, I have this feeling that even even if you don't like Nile and you know the, the brutality and uh, the technical stuff that you know we usually play, um, this is one of the songs that you will definitely really like. There is a lot of catchy vocals in there, uh, some amazing riffs, and um, a very comfortable tempo actually to to go with it and you know like bang your head and have some fun. So um, we played this live a few times and uh, so far people love it so um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the next uh, super big hits. This was a fun song to put together it was more like a uh, wanted to create kind of a rhythmic vortex we've done some stuff kind of like that before we wanted to just take it a little bit further this time and uh, I think that it came out pretty well. It's pretty fun. We've already been playing it live a little bit and it seems to be getting a pretty good response and everybody seems to be digging it. So we're happy. Yeah. 